Today, I have the pleasure to have with me the co-CEO and CTO of Pilog Group, Dr. Imad Said. He's been with Pilog for over 20 years. He has an incredible experience in topics such as master data, data quality, data governance, as well as data analytics. It is a pleasure to have him here. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Pio. Fantastic. To begin with, I would like to start talking about the fact that Pilog has almost three decades of experience in the field of data management and MDM. Probably it wasn't even called this way back then. So um, given all of this experience, I wanted to ask you, what do you see as the status quo and where do you think we're going from here? Sure. Pio, let me just take you back to, you know, those days where we were talking about data and nobody wanted to even hear us out. You know, nobody wanted to listen to us, all our approaches and that. But we have, uh, you know, slowly but surely uh, actually became part of the whole ISO 8000 and developing the standards and then trying to advocate it and becoming the ambassadors of the data. So we have seen this technology as well as the data evolution in different phases, starting from, you know, just a putting piece of uh, some you know, processes around the data to a technology or AI driven. So that has been a evolution for the data journey. But now if you <clears throat> look at what we have gone through, you know, the entire industry and the processes uh, around that, we said there is an opportunity for us to take this to the next level. When I say next level, from the perspective of the AI driven, I mean, you know, we have been disrupted by AI and we cannot deny that. And today, data is actually the change. You know, if you do not bring that change into the enterprises, then absolutely enterprises are going to struggle. We talk about smart systems, we talk about that. So we said, let's look at, relook at, uh, you know, this whole data governance, data quality, uh, data standards, standardization and ISO standards, you know, from a different perspective. So that's where we brought in, you know, the concept of lean data governance. Like uh, I always say that we really need our systems, our processes to be lean. Again, you know, mean, clean and evergreen. And if we don't do that, then our systems cannot also sustain the evolution of AI. So the lean data governance concept is uh, in general that, you know, you bring in the best processes best methodologies uh, and all the technologies uh, into one platform end to end and then you empower the organizations and if that is the approach that is going to win us uh, you know a tag of uh, you know front runners uh, or a tag of the thought leaders and that's what we are aiming for stick it is indeed something unheard of because I believe in organizations, whenever you mention data governance, data governance is often associated to something slow, expensive, that often fails. Yeah. So uh, it is indeed something quite revolutionary to hear about. And I believe it very much aligns with where the business world is going in general. Yeah. Because as you can see, over the last few years, it's all about, you know, becoming leaner and trimming away the unneeded and becoming more agile. Absolutely, absolutely. So what we there are three principles that we brought into the lean data governance. We said that it has to be simple, which means that simplicity is at its core. The second thing we said that it has to be agile. When we say agile, it must be pre-configured with all the business rules, pre-configured with the standards, pre-configured and embedded with the content. So that's the agility of it. And we should be able to plug and play. Because why would you want to now reinvent every time you do an implementation of governance? And then swift, because it's the era of speed, speed of evolution, speed of deployment, speed of adaptability, and everywhere speed. And that's the reason we brought in those three things. But we haven't forgotten, we haven't forgotten our customer, we have not forgotten our uh, you know, uh, human touch there. So that's why when we designed this, we brought in around the simplicity, uh, again, you know, agility and swiftness, we brought in the human factor as well. 
So this everything is from a human center. Whatever we have built on the lean data governance, it is from the human centered approach and it's absolutely the data driven. Because today organizations require data driven decision making. It's not that, you know, some rational behind it and you make a decision. It needs to be. So it's a continuous business intelligence. And then AI ready. It's absolutely AI ready. I think that this intersection in, is indeed, you know, the winning formula. Yeah. Because in the end, technology needs to serve humans. Absolutely. It needs to be built around them. Yeah. Data, you know, we've been talking about data as, uh, you know, the new gold or all these kind of things. Yeah. and. Exactly. And we're noticing year after year that in order to take advantage of new technologies, right. your data needs to be on point. Yeah. And finally, I mean, with the advent of ChatGPT and generative AI, all companies now are trying to jump on the AI yeah. ready trend. Right. But, you know, can you really be AI ready if your data is not on point? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, because the organizations are striving, and I was reading a couple of reports wherein organizations spend on IT has increased tremendously because everybody is now attempting to have that AI capabilities in-house. I, I personally feel that, and this is my point of view, and this is what is the suggestion that I would like to give it to my peers and the industry leaders that don't try and build yourself Whatever is available in the market, try it, contextualize it. You know, that's one of the ways of doing it, which means that you contextualize around your user base. You contextualize around your human needs. You contextualize around your problem statements. You contextualize around your processes rather than go and invest. And instead of investing in AI, this is a golden opportunity for the organization to invest into data because without da being data ready, they can never be AI ready. So being AI ready means you first need to be data ready because if your data is not accurate, even AI is also going to guide you, give you insights on the wrong factuals. You know, that is something that organizations need to be cautious about. And that's where the Lean Data Governance actually packages everything into one platform so that you can actually take an advantage and accelerate your business. And that's where the Lean Data Governance thought process came from. Very good. Now, um, as you know, we run many conferences around the MDM and data management, and we often see that the majority of the organizations attending are large multinationals. Yeah. Often, small and medium enterprises are cut out of the game. Quite simply, the level of complexity that normal data governance projects demand right. is uh, unachievable, it's too expensive, it's just too difficult to make it happen. How does uh, lean data governance apply to this? So, if you look at our nearly three decades of experience, if you look at our customer base where we are serving, all of them are extra large organizations. But we said that if we do not take SMEs with us, small and medium enterprises, or even very small you know, enterprises or businesses with us, then we won't be doing good for the community, we won't be doing good for you know, uh, this planet. So that's the reason we came up with a different approaches. And now, I mean, you know, what we offer out of Lean Data Governance is very, very easy for even the very small businesses to adapt. It's a basic addition. You go there, you exactly need whatever is there and that's objectively defined. Or if you would like to go on to scale, uh, scaling it up to a professional edition, you can go there and choose that. So we have focused, yes, we kept the enterprise market as is, but again, we have introduced two different segments. One is for the small, the other one is for the medium. So now medium, small enterprises can actually leverage on this and they would have exactly the same capabilities, same features, uh, you know, same processes, methodology, content that is being offered to the large or the extra large organization. And that's really the beauty of it. And it's on cloud. You do not have to invest into any infrastructure. So you do not have to have expertise in-house to maintain it. Everything is maintained on cloud and regional clouds, different regional clouds. And then you can subscribe to it, start with small, and then you can grow up 
rather than you know going with a big bang approach let me push back a little bit on this because there are many organizations over the last 5 years or so um many software vendors that have been trying to uh, pitch the idea of uh, you know this is simple this is an expensive but sometimes this simplicity comes at the expense of completeness so you have a solution that kind of mimics a, a data management solution it's cheaper that's great but then it cannot serve the large organization with all this level of complexities mm -hmm. what about uh, lean data governance so lean data governance is built on the core principles of the commonality across different industry sectors the commonality across different use cases or business cases and if so, somebody would like to have more than that there are tens of add-ons they can add to it so let's suppose you are on a professional edition and you feel that you would like to have additional features additional add-ons those add-ons are always available you can add them and then you would be able to utilize it so it's a modular approach when i say modular approach we have designed the models in such a way that in the core capabilities you have all what is needed however if you would like to go for an extra then it's exactly like you know uh if you are ordering a pizza you know you can have as many toppings as you want you might have a different things there you know so it's a modular approach that's fantastic now i know that uh, pilog um is very proud of the fact that uh, customers are very happy with the level of quality they have in your services and also in general customers really awarded you many times many yeah. awards yeah. how are they responding to this new solution see we we have offered this to couple of because there was great interest first of all uh, from a lot of uh, i say medium organizations and even some of the large organizations they said that how can we start because you have great capabilities it is ai driven and you have the entire conversational ai concept in that it's a copilot mode and all of that so we said that okay let's take you know you know introduce them to a ramp up program so we introduced them we already started deploying that and really to tell you that they do not believe what they are experiencing so it's 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 truly unbelievable for them because you know i will talk more about the ai lens but you know it's about uh, having all this comprehensiveness with no complexity absolutely no complexity it has made their life simple well you know i think uh, decades ago we were talking about technology and we were dreaming of a technology that would help us uh, to work less or to sim simplify things yeah. over the next decades we kind of so things going in another way you know technology actually is complicating things and technology for the sake of technology what you're mentioning to me seems quite the opposite it is indeed the technology that simplify Uh, simplifies eliminates complications and let businesses do their business essentially yeah, absolutely see now if you look at what we have done is that we brought in technology by keeping human factor at the center so if technology is not helping human beings to you know improve their productivity efficiency effectiveness Uh, then you know the technology of no use so that's the reason we brought in human centered approach and when i talk about that i mean you know you always feel that you have somebody as a co pilot as a buddy as a subject matter expert always there when you log on to the application as a side panel and helping you for training purposes for awareness purposes for asking any of the technical questions functional questions you know know how our feed all of that is embedded you know you know power packed into that uh, ai lens that's fantastic and again it's a very it's a very refreshing to hear that because i've seen so many softwares out there talking about you know data mesh uh, data fabric coming up with the, all this kind of terms to just right. trying to resell something right. and repackage something right. So this is definitely not a buzzword this is uh, definitely not uh, a just a sales gimmick 
it's absolutely a lean approach. Again, you know, people can study what exactly is the lean approach and lean methodology. There have been a lot of research that is published and that's the same lean approach we brought into the lean data governance so that we can simplify it and we can have it uh, with greater agility and swiftness.